Hi everyone, welcome back to the Laravel 8 Home Service Edge project. In this video, we are going to learn about how to create admin service categories page. So let's see how can we create service categories page for the admin. So first of all, let's log in by the admin credential. So click on login link and here just enter the admin email ID. Okay, and password. Now click on login. And here you can see the admin has been logged in successfully. All right. Now uh, let's create a new live wire component for the service categories. So switch to the command prompt and uh, for creating the new live wire component, uh, just type here the command php artisan make colon live wire a space uh, directory name which is admin slash component name. Uh, let's say component name is admin service uh, category okay component all right now press enter component created now run the application so write here php artisan serve all right now switch to the project and let's create the route for this component so just go inside the routes directory then open web.php file and inside this file, uh, let's create a new route inside the admin route group. Okay, so after this route, let's create a new route here. Route get add here the URI slash admin slash service dash categories. Okay, now add here the class name, complete class name, which is admin uh, service categories component colon colon class all right now add here the route name uh, name and give any name i just write the admin dot service underscore categories okay now add here the semicolon now save this file now let's open this admin service categories component uh, class file. So just go inside the app directory, then HTTP LiveWire uh, admin and from here let's open this one admin service category component.php file. Okay. And inside this file, uh, first of all, let's add here the layout. So right here, arrow layout. And inside this, just write here layouts.base. Okay, now save this file. Now inside this class file, uh, let's fetch here, uh, fetch here the all service categories. Okay, so inside the render method, just write here, first create a variable is categories is equal to service category model name and then column column paginate. Okay. And inside this paginate, uh, let's pass here the number of records in one page. So I'm just going to write here 10 records in one page. Okay. Now uh, let's return this categories to the view. So here, just write here the big bracket. Then S categories, arrow, dollar S categories. Okay. And uh, for the pagination in live web, uh, also use here the width pagination okay with pagination this one and inside the class just write here use with pagination all right now save this file now let's open the admin service categories component view file so just go inside the resources directory then views live wire and from here let's open the admin directory and now uh, let's open this one admin service categories component.play.php file okay and inside this file uh, first of all remove this com comment and uh, now let's open the login.play.php file okay from auth directory and uh, from here let's open uh, let's copy this div and uh, also copy this one okay from here to here okay now let's copy this and uh, go to the view file and here just paste here okay and now just close this div 
also play close this one and this one all right and also close this section okay now change here coal empty 12 okay now also change here the title so select control plus t now write here the title service categories okay all right now here uh, inside this div let's add here a table so right here table class table table dash script okay now add t head then tr okay then td uh, th okay for heading th put here the hash sign and uh, now let's copy this and paste here three time and change here the uh, image service category image here is the name service category name and here slug okay now uh, after this just add your t body then add here the for each directive for each and now dollar s categories this one is categories okay add dollar s category and now just close here the for each directive in the for each okay and inside this for each let's add here the tr then td and now display here the id so right here dollar s category arrow id now copy this and paste three time change here the column name for the name write your name and for the slug just write here the slug okay and for image just cut this and add here the imc tag src is equal to double curly bracket as set and inside this just add here the directory name of image okay so go to the project directory and then public images and categories okay and these are the categories icon so uh, add here images and categories name okay these two folder so write here images slash categories okay and after this add forward slash and write this category arrow image now add here the property width width 60 pixel and now close this okay and for showing the pagination link after the table just insert the double curly bracket right here dollar s categories and this one arrow links okay and also add some css for the pagination so just uh, after this tip let's add here this style tag and now right here nav svg and set the height 20 pixel and also make visible so right here nav dot hidden hidden uh, display block display block important alright now it's done so save this file and one more thing uh, go to the layout file so just go inside the resources directory and uh, then views layouts and from here let's open this one base.blade.php file and inside the admin menu uh, you can see here this is the admin menu okay and uh, after this 
let's create a new link here so let's copy this one this li and uh, paste here now change here the text service categories okay and also change here the route name so let's copy this this route name and uh, just paste here okay now save this all done so let's check this so switch to the browser and just refresh the page now in admin menu you can see here the link for the service categories okay so just click on this link and here you can see the service categories okay can records in one page now if I click on next link you can see the another 10 records okay alright so in this way you can create admin service category page for the uh, in in this project okay so that's all about create admin service uh, category page so thanks for watching this video and uh, if you still have any kind of question you can ask me in the comment box don't forget to subscribe my channel thanks for watching